Today I have the pleasure of speaking with Malcolm Mason from Hastings Rare Metals. How are you today, Malcolm? Oh, I'm very good, thank you. Well, let's start off with a question that most people in our audience are going to be interested in, which is how the heck have you doubled your stock this last year? Well, I guess it goes back to we promised certain things and we delivered certain things and we've continued to deliver for, what, a year and a half now and uh, we now have a band of loyal shareholders who I guess believe in what we're doing and we try and keep them totally informed. And of course, actually uh, this is consistent, uh, I've been reviewing your history and of course Charles Liu came on board December 2013 and a lot of changes have taken place <coughs> since then with the overall management team and board. Can you give us a little bit of an overview on that? Yes, uh, certainly my pleasure to do so because uh, Charles arrived out of the blue. In fact, uh, he uh, made a takeover bid and, and, and uh, that failed, uh, but he finished up purchasing the company. And uh, it wasn't until um, February 2014 uh, that we were able to sit around a table and find out what uh, Charles was all about. And that was a strategy meeting. And it was interesting that even at that time, he was very, very keen on what he called the technology metals. And uh, that, of course, is what we call the rare earths. So when we sat around that, uh, that table, he said, we're going to go for rare earths. And at the end of the strategy meeting, we had a number of other objectives. We were certainly going to focus on rare earths, but in Australia, and he was particularly keen on Western Australia because Western Australia is probably, well, in my humble opinion, is probably the best mining area in the world. And they certainly support mining. Um, he also said that uh, he was very keen to have a look at Yangibana and uh, that's where we put our first effort in. So uh, those very um, direct objectives were easy to look at and easy to attain. So that was very, very uh, clear and he was, uh, what shall we say, a breath of fresh air. Well, speaking of a breath of fresh air, what we have here for all of our audience that may not be familiar with Hastings Rare Metals is we have a company that has a lot of the magnetic materials, magnetic metals, which are the most high-priced rare earth elements. Can you give us an overview of what Hastings has and which technology metals you are focused on? Yes, uh, and in fact, uh, you've hit the point where if you don't have a significant resource, you're not going to go anywhere. So that's obviously the prime uh, target for us in, in the first year. We started at uh, Yangibana North and there we found that uh, the neodymium a percentage of our rare earths was around about 18 percent and I might go a little bit further into uh, our life and that was uh, recently about six months, eight months ago, we realized that our eastern belt uh, carries around 30 to 35 percent and one of the prospects, in fact, is over 40% neodymium. Now, that's a major economic driver for any project because almost all of your costs are in the hydromet or, or, shall we say, the metallurgical area. Now, you've just put out a major milestone news release in the last 24 hours. What I would really like is if you wouldn't mind telling us a little bit about the timeline of highlights that you've uh, accomplished here in the last uh, year or so since you joined the team, please, Malcolm. Okay, the first thing, uh, we've managed to improve our resources to the stage where we have uh, just over 12 million tonnes of resource. Uh, we've been able to uh, obtain control of 650 square kilometres of ground and within that there's over 50 strike kilometres of outcropping resource. Uh, we find that our ore, uh, our ore, our mineralisation is quite shallow dipping and uh, that it will be amenable to open pitting. Uh, we don't have terribly much in the way of native title or native heritage, heritage issues and in fact we have uh, at the moment um, three granted uh, mining leases which cover over 80% of our total resources. 
Okay, so in the last year, I've also noticed that you've been able to raise capital successfully for Hastings, which is a real challenge in current market conditions. Can you tell us how you've been able to do this, or is it just uh, Hastings magnificent? Is it the resource or the management or both, uh, Malcolm? Can you let us know? Well, I think it's three things. Uh, the project, in a way, does sell itself. Uh, it is uh, one of those very special, almost unique ones. Uh, the other one is that Charles has... Uh, uh, a lot of very good loyal friends who stay with him uh, but as well as that we have a whole host of high net worth people who have invested on on really the basic principles that this uh, looks a very good project well Okay, you heard it here at Investor Intel. We've been supporting Hastings for many years. We do agree that this is a great project. And thank you so much for joining us today, Malcolm. Thank you very much. It's been a pleasure. Mm -hmm.